Hi guys, this is MG Retro back again. Second YouTube video to support my eBay shop. Started it up about a month ago. Already got um, over 100 sales so far. Keeping trying listing. Got about 200 items on there, but I'm aiming to get 500 by the end of this month. Also, I'm going to try and upload a YouTube video every day for the month and a YouTube short as well. So I've got big goals to start off the new year to sort of, you know, support the eBay shop because that was what I was mainly trying to do. But I think it's time to get on YouTube as well. There's lots of cool stuff I've got here. Loads to talk about. I've got loads to do, loads to film. So if you could give me a subscribe, like the video, share it if you can. I just need a bit of traction, get me off the ground. But hopefully there's some cool stuff you can see today. I'm going to show you packing and packaging some items that I sold yesterday. Got eight items to pack, all different shapes and sizes, different eras, different types of stuff. We've got some cool vintage camera, cuddly toys, suitcase, all sorts of stuff. So I'll show you how much I paid for it, how much it's going for, and you know, hopefully we'll make a cool video. Right, everyone. These are the things I've got to pack today. These are the orders from yesterday and one this morning. Uh, pretty cool stuff here, actually. Like, it is actually retro vintage stuff, most of it. So, my favourite's probably this camera here. Polaroid Land, Land Camera 1000. And I looked up a video because I wasn't sure if it worked or not, but how it works is you get one of the old films and it has the battery in the film. So you can't really do anything with the camera when it's not in there. So should be all good though. It's in really good condition. And I got that the other day along with this jelly cap. Uh, that was three pounds and came with a leather case. This one here, the zip's broken and stuff. The zip's broken, and there's like a hole in it, but no one's buying it for that. But these were all listed for like anywhere from 15 pounds to 40 pounds. But to be fair, I took some pretty decent pictures. I started doing better pictures and did just copied a title and it sold for 35 within a day. So I'm well happy with that. But it's like well cool with the rainbow retro. I was a bit gutted because I wanted to keep it and put it on display. But oh well, got wiggly worms that I got from the same charity shop, but probably couple of weeks before wiggly worms classic 1998 i think that is it's all in there it's just missing one of the cards for the game but it's not really essential i don't think all the worms are there and still works and that so pretty good had this for a while got this for a pound another jelly cat sold for 20 24 i think but i had that up for ages there's loads of listings for like for over 40 quid for it so originally i had it up as that but no one's buying that. So I just put the price down and took an offer for 24, I think. But I'm happy with that from a pound. This is Officer Doggy, I think it is, from Piggy, the Roblox game that my son likes. He absolutely loves it. Yeah, don't you? I do. <laughs> and yeah, that was a quid as well. Uh, so that was an all right profit on that as well. I knew that one would sell because I think it's not... Um, in production anymore maybe another jelly cat here i saw that on the shelf and i recognized it straight away i was like that's a jelly cat and i got it from the same charity shop as the wiggly worms and on the same day as getting that camera and it sold on the same day as the camera I bought it like two days ago um that's gone for 22 pound that was a one pound 50 and it's pretty much brand new condition and it's a special one because it's got the nice floral pads on the uh the ears and the feet. It's quite cool. These I've had for a while. I'll say a while, probably like four weeks or something. This uh, set of Thomas trains. They're the really good quality die cast ones. Yeah. So they range from like 2009 to 2012, I think. A couple of duplicates in there, but they're all really cool, interesting trains. It's like a lady one there. You got Harold. Well, what else you got? Yeah, really cool ones. Stanley, don't know him. So I was surprised they didn't go quicker, to be honest, because some of these go for like <clears throat> seven, eight quid each. So I wasn't sure whether to just list them all individually for whatever they're worth, sort of like 
four pounds to eight pounds or whatever they are, but it would take so long to sell. And I had them up for like 60 originally, because there's 30, just over 30 there. So that's two pound a train, which is pretty good if you're into that, or even for someone else to resell. But in the end, no one, I mean, there was a lot of views actually. Um, but I thought, sell them, get rid. I think they've gone for 40, which is a pretty good deal for someone. But also, if you see how much they cost, they came in this. What's this called, Josh? Uh, Juggington. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. In this bag, all the trains came in there, £1.50. But all of those trains, this bag, and I've still got <coughs> this other wooden train listed for about eight pound or something which is quite a cool one actually so all in all i'll sell this maybe if i find some chunkington stuff or maybe on its own but that's about 50 quid off one pound 50 there so i was well happy with that um yeah just let that focus but yeah those are the things there we go oh sorry here we go got this carlton international suitcase well cool like retro looking it's pretty much apart from like the tiniest of scuffs actually that's just a bit of chalk from when it was stored that'll come off yeah um <clears throat> it's pretty much brand new it looks like it's never been used the wheels are like slightest of wear on them but that's probably just when it's been wheeled around and stored so I only got 15 quid for it, but paid three pound or something. Glad to get it gone because it's taken up room. But pretty good haul for yesterday. Uh, I'll put all the prices up and stuff. This is going out of focus. There we go. But yeah, let's get it packed. Right, so that's all the stuff we've got to package. So let's get going. This might take a while. absolutely knackered after that that took ages to be fair though i'm well happy that i had all the boxes i mean look at this though this is gordon's gin one cut it all wrong tried to make it custom size that's no, a really weird shape just a jelly cat in there but 
it'll do. And so glad I had the perfect size big box for that suitcase. I remember getting it at B&M, I think. I was like, oh, you got any boxes? He's like, yeah, I've got one. And it was that massive one. I was like, oh, I'm never going to use that. So it was just taking up so much space. But now it's perfect size. So I'm buzzing about that. Happy with that. Got all that done. Took way longer than I expected because I was doing my filming. First time filming it. So hopefully it'll come out all right. But these will go off in a couple of days because it's the bank holiday today. And I reckon all the drop-off points near me probably are full because they've been... They haven't done delivery since Saturday, I think. And I dropped loads off then. And I usually take up all the space. So I don't reckon there'll be any space. And i got work tomorrow, first day back. So going down to London. So I'll be back Wednesday. So I'll probably purchase the shipping labels. Then get them on once I get back, straight down to the shop. But So they'll be off in a couple of days, I think. But I need to get them done now because I'll need to get down to London tonight because of the train strikes tomorrow. So I'll drive down tonight, hopefully, stay with my brother, and we'll be all right. But yeah, excited to be back at work. Sort of started up this because self-employed musician, so I have time off in between stuff. So I thought it'd be good because the more time you put into it, the sort of the more you get out of it in a way. So I've, been, I've only been doing it for just over a month and things have been going pretty well for how long I've been doing it. So trying to scale up really, but I'm finding at the minute I'm so busy just doing Christmassy stuff and seeing family and that and stuff selling. If I'm selling sort of 10 items every couple of days, I find it hard to list it all in time really. Just getting stuff up. I got all the stock here and the stuff I need to repair and like I said on the last video, get battery acid out of and stuff. But yeah, I just need to get through it really. Because I find I'm selling as much as I'm listing now. And I'm at 200 items on the store, sold over 100 now. And I want to get up to 500 within a month or so. So I've got a lot of work to do, but I just need to get listing really. It's just been so difficult with being so busy. But happy with that. Got these done load of sales come through and like some of these made pretty decent profit on so you would have just seen how much i've made uh but yeah i'm gonna show you a bit of stuff i need to list now and a few finds over the last few days now so see you there right i'll show you some of the things i picked up over the last couple of days when the charity shops have been open and facebook marketplace and stuff Got some pretty cool things actually. These are just my favourite ones. So you can see straight away, got really nice condition, sooty sweep and sue. I was so happy. I found these on Facebook Marketplace. And I always have a look what else people are selling because these were £10. And I had a look if they were selling anything else to make it worth the trip there. And they were. They were selling this boxed Roblox car for a fiver. So it's new in the box, so I can sell it as new. But I think they go for about 25 quid. So that's already made a decent profit there. But I'm, these go for about 30, I think. 25, 30 as a set. But I'm, I think I'll keep these because they're so nice. They're, re they're like pretty big, really nice condition as well. So they'll be going on display for sure. Got the cat from, can't remember his name, from the charity shop for 50p. Bob the Builder's cat and I've got a Bob the Builder listed so basically I took him down and added the cat to it just because I think that's probably a better listing bundle than them together um this is amazing I really want to keep this hope no one buys it I already sold a Wallace and Gromit magnet I got for 25p for five a fiver I think just a tiny magnet from 1986 but this on um, Maybe not that yet, I'm not sure. But this is amazing. Look at that. Wallace and Gromit bow tie. Adjustable. Amazing. Grand day out. Classic film. Been watching them all over Christmas. Absolutely love it. And my son loves it as well. Uh, I'll show you the listing now. Can't remember how much I put them up for, but pretty sure that was a quid. Maybe less. But that's the sort of thing. If I see that, I'm buying it. Doesn't matter the price. Got this as well. 
think they're Japanese, like uh, from the 70s or 80s or something. This little monkey toy, Mochichi. Yeah, Sekiguchi. Pretty cool, it's got a little bottle, it's a baby one. Or is it like a, yeah, a little bottle. But, thought that was pretty cool. They go for a bit of money actually. I'm not, some of them go for like 40, 50 quid, but this is like a little one, I think probably 25, 30 or something. And then, got these roll dolls. We went in the charity shop and they had all the children's books for 10p on sale. And I saw these and I was like, oh, amazing. They're all in really good quality, really good condition, sorry. There was another one as well, but it was absolutely minging. It had like massive stain all over it, so I didn't even bother buying it. Um, so I think this is the full set minus about three of them. So I think these will do all right, actually, because it was one, 14 of them, £1.40 for all them. So I haven't listed them yet, but it might appear on the screen if I've done it. And that's how much I'm going to sell them for. Seen this already, the Roblox. But yeah, these are some cool items I got over the last couple of days. So while I've been down there packing, what have you been making up here, Josh? Um, an ice cream truck. Oh, that's for amazing. The box. Pretty good. Uh oh. By the way, sorry about all this stuff everywhere. It's absolute carnage in here. It's carnage downstairs. It's carnage over there with all the stock and it's carnage back here. I need to get it all organized and all sorted. I'll do it at some point. I've got loads of stuff I need to get through. I'll show you now. I've got basketball cards I need to sort through. I've got Pokemon cards, collectibles. I've got all sorts. So subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. Let's go over to the basketball cards now. Right, so last video I showed you some of the stuff I found at my parents' house, some old Pokemon stuff. So I thought we'd go through some of this, look. Basketball cards from the late 80s up to the sort of mid-90s, late 90s. But look at that, Michael Jordan hollow card. Some of these are in like alright condition, like only just a little bit of fraying around the edges and stuff can see but like still glossy and like in good shape no like bends or anything in them it's just like fraying around the edges which is pretty good for these sorts of cards got a load of these Michael Jordan ones I guess they're the ones that are worth the money but I've no idea how much they're worth and I'm not sure that's Space Jam whether to sell bundles of them or like maybe sort them into teams or types of cards or years because there are a couple of different types like these smaller ones Dennis Rodman and then all ugh, there's just so many different types here and you've got these bigger ones here look they're really good and some of them really nice condition for saying they were just stored in this in a cupboard um, so yeah I want to get my first comment on a video. It's only my second video. I want people to subscribe and like it. But if anyone knows anything about these basketball cards, what to do with them, should I sell them, should I keep them, should I grade any of them, should I bundle them, what should I do with them? I've absolutely no idea. But they're all right. I think these would be sellable in this condition. Some of these, like that one, is really good condition. Like you could sell that as near mint. Like slight, not really anything on that. I can see. Sorry. Yeah, but I don't know how popular these are, whether they just go for like a pound each or something. But even so, there's hundreds of them. And I've got another box full of stickers as well, NBA stickers. So, over the coming videos, I'll work out what we're going to do with them. Maybe I'll make a decision. Maybe one of you could help me. So let me know what you think. On our way to b &M, get some boxes. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. MG Retro on tour. 
off to B&M, get some boxes, some pack, packing tape. <laughs> um, we're just going to go around to get some boxes and then we're just going to go home and my brother is just going to get some packaging. So I need one of them big ones. Okay. The big brown one. Yep. That one. That one. And we need a big packing paper. I don't even have any boxes in B&M. No boxes in B&M, devoed. So we yeah. just got some packing paper and sellotape for well packing. expensive. Normally get it from Wilco's, quite yeah, cheap in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so two big things happened. Yeah. So we got a bit of story time already. We were in B&M yeah. yeah. looking for boxes and then we just bought the sellotape and all that and then get to the till and there's two queues in there and we were in one of the, the queues basically getting towards the till and then the next till opens she's like oh we're open now so i was like the next person so i just like went over to that till and this guy proper like scooped in front of me out of nowhere so i was just like hello and he turned around he's like oh i thought you were in the other queue i was like well yeah i was because we were all queuing for the till and this one's just opened and you're trying to swoop in out of nowhere in front of everyone so i just literally just stepped in front of him put my stuff in front of his on the conveyor belt didn't i yeah. and he was like oh and then it's quite awkward because i saw him in aldi after yeah um... but then in aldi after as well <clears throat> there's these like two spotty teenagers they look so shifty like a couple of little dweebs walking around and they were like oh they were looking for prime drinks and then they were looking around for ages and then yeah. they said to the woman you got any prime and she was like no and just like laughed at them and then they were like oh so they like scuttled off so i went up to them and i was like oh do you want any prime and they were like oh yeah i think they got it in asda it's not even that good I was like, oh, I got loads at home if you want any. He's like, no, no, it's not even that good. So I was like, why are you going around Aldi trying to find some if it's not that good and you're not interested in buying any? But that's it now. I'm a prime dealer. Yeah. But I basically, I got three bottles yesterday and I just bought them because it was funny. Yeah. So I thought I'd try sell it to them kids, but they weren't having it. Yeah. What do you reckon, Josh? Story time is over. No. No? Well, have you got a story then? Well, you have to write it. I have to write it? No, you have to... I'll think of something. Um, how far are you on Mario Odyssey now? Uh, uh, a vegetable world. A vegetable world? Yeah. You've... You got it on Christmas Day, didn't you? Yeah. Mario Odyssey for the Switch. And you're absolutely just grinding through it. How long were we on it on Christmas Day? About 10 hours. Yeah, 30, hours. 30 hours in a day. And now he's nearly completed it all on his own. I've done a couple yeah, of I've gone past. Well. I've gone past the city. Got to the city. That's what you wanted to do all along, want it get to the city. And then you get there and then it's night time and raining and you got to beat the boss to make it daytime. Yeah, and then I, I thought you only have to find the moon now, all of the moons. Yeah, we've got loads of moons. Yeah, but do you, do you know, in the city, I thought you just had to find all of the moons, but do you know, I, I sit next to this guy on my I'd sit a person, and he gave me a moon. Nice. Because if you just stand on there for a minute, it will just magically just sit you down. Nice. And did you know when I got the moon, did you even upgrade it, the thing, the fire thing, to make it like an air balloon? No, no. Yeah. It just makes the time machine back. Yeah. Well... I think that's story time over for now, isn't it? No. No. Yes, it is. No. Same time next time. No.
Right, before I forget, the other day we were in a charity shop and my wife picked out this and said, oh, look at that. Yeah, Moschino, yeah, that's a proper make. And we were like, yeah. We looked it up, we couldn't find the dress at all. But it just had that label up there. So we were like, hmm, probably would be worth getting, but we just didn't get it for whatever reason. Bought a load of other stuff because they had a sale on there. So if you see in the other part of the video, it's where I got the Roald R books from. But anyway, it's six pound for this, right? And we brought it back. Basically what happened was we didn't get it. And then we looked it up the night after. And we saw it was listed on some website for like 400 and something quid. Couldn't find it anywhere else. These sort of dresses go for a decent amount of money on eBay anyway. But it's six quid. Looks in amazing condition, except I found somewhere. I don't know if we'll be able to find it now. There's a slight brown, maybe like a little tiny makeup stain somewhere. I don't know if it's coming out at all. It's so faint. You have to really like find it to see it. So it's not in like pristine condition, but I think it would be good enough to sell if I describe it and you know show good photos of it and the uh the slight stain on it but get more than six quid for it anyway right mg retro on tour again evening time well late afternoon got to head down to london later but thought i'd show you this even though there's a massive tree in the way right now amazing sunset look at this that pink orange red pretty amazing good things to come this year i reckon back at work got my ebay started going well let's keep it going let's get this youtube going come on right guys thanks for watching mg retro here another video let's get some likes let's get some subscriptions going if you could share it, like it, anything will do. We just need to get some views, get some traction going. Started up on eBay, start on my YouTube. Check out my Instagram as well. More videos to come, some really good ideas. I'm going to try and upload every day if I can. Get some YouTube shorts out there as well. Get the stuff on Instagram. So yeah, if you could subscribe, you'll be able to see some more stuff. So same time, next time.